S legend the world's most largest expensive koi fish. Koi fish can be worth millions. The most expensive koi fish ever sold was worth $1.8 million. Sakai Kohaku, S legend grand champion, All Japan Koi Show 2017 offspring of Neo Universe New World Record 203 million yen approximately Singapore dollars 2.5 million dollars or USD 1.8 million dollars. Koi or more specifically Nishiki Goi are colored varieties of the Amor carp, Sopranus rubrofiscus, that are kept for decorative purposes in outdoor koi ponds that can be found all over the world. But what makes koi so special is their coloring and lineage. There are regular koi fish show competitions to name the top koi and just like prize dog breeds, Japanese people take koi breeding very seriously. Anything strike you as special about this fish here? Well, it's worth $1.8 million. It won grand champion at the All Japan Koi Show in 2017, and is the most expensive koi fish ever sold. Koi fish may just look like an oversized goldfish, but they're not even remotely related. Koi are actually a type of carp you can easily distinguish their difference by looking its mouth region Koi fish have two sets of barbels while goldfish have none and today they're some of the most expensive pet fish in the world. But why are koi fish so expensive? Koi fish were originally raised in Japan in the 1700s when rice farmers first began breeding them for their distinct colors and patterns, similar to how we breed dogs for their specific traits. And just like prize dog breeds, Japanese people take koi breeding very seriously. There are regular competitions to name the top koi fish judges and customers pay attention to how koi fish looks like, its size and body shape, pattern formation and cleanliness, health, and how gracefully the fish moves in the water. But the most important trait of all is the koi's coloring example the Kohaku koi fish for example its red or high pattern should be intensely red and white skin should be snowy white. The best koi have a good balance of colors and patterns according to their variety. For example, there are koi with light blue spots like Goromo, ones with large red patches on their backs like sank koi fish, or all metallic gold like Yamabuki Yugon. But the most winning koi fish often just boil down to these three varieties. The Gosang group consist of Kohaku, Sank and Showa they're often the most valuable. They dominate the shows, winning nearly every major category each year. And the better looking the fish, the more a buyer is willing to pay. You can buy some small and cheap koi fish for a couple of bucks, but also, it can get up really, really high to thousands, ten thousands of dollars. The koi fish breeders are located in Japan, and they have experience with their bloodlines for many, many generations. Bloodlines are just as prized in koi as they are in dogs because some of these koi are the result of decades of selective breeding. I mean, just take a look at the koi's wild relative, the common carp. Its dark colors would be considered unattractive for a koi, but it's perfect protection against predators in the wild. So how do you get from this to this? Well, it's actually similar to how we got from this to this, except koi breeders mainly select for size and color and ignore dot fluffiness. Koi have six types of color cells in their skin. Their cells can be red, yellow, black, white, blue, or metallic. Now in order to get a beautiful, reddish-orange pattern like the one on this $1.8 million fish, you need to select for fish that have a white body and lots of red cells that concentrate in large patches. Red and white are important colors in Japanese culture, representing joy and purity. But having the right colors is only part of it in addition Kohaku koi fish resembles Japanese flag there's a saying that it begins with Kohaku and ends with Kohaku. This famous proverb tells us how important the Kohaku variety of koi is in several ways. First, it tells us that Kohaku is the most popular and important variety of koi. This may be obvious since you always see Kohaku pictures on the cover of Japanese koi magazines. A koi's color cells sit at different depths in the skin, some right near the surface and some deeper in, which ultimately determines how bright the fish appears. The brighter the fish, the bigger the price tag. Today there are about 120 varieties. To compare, there are about 200 breeds of dogs. But when it comes down to it, breeding koi is a lot harder. A single koi can give birth to hundreds of thousands of baby fish at a time. I think we are talking about millions and millions of fish per breeder it depends of the koi fish size a female koi fish will lay about 100,000 eggs per kilogram of weight and that's a lot of fish but they will not successfully hatch and not all will be grown to be a champion they will undergo a series of culling schedules. So breeders must choose wisely. One breeder, for example, reports that he starts with 3 million fish and selects 15,000 to raise over the first year. From that he chooses 1000 to continue to raise the second year. It's a really hard job for the breeders. But in the end, 
All that hard work is worth it. The koi fish breeder of this grand champion waited until she was 9 years old to sell her at auction. And by bringing in a world record of 1.8 million the famous S legend 9 year old female Kohaku koi fish, the breeder got not only a huge return on investment but a priceless reputation boost in the koi. Thank you.